Hey, what's up, homies? How we doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day so far, fantastic week. Hope you're staying safe and healthy during these interesting times. For those of you who do not know, who do not follow me on Instagram, unfortunately, our season got cut four games early, about a month early due to the situation over here. Unfortunately, I can't say the word here on YouTube because maybe they'll cancel, maybe they'll, they'll cut me out. But unfortunately, today is my last day in Saldus Latvia. Really been an unbelievable experience. I'm taking a deload week, so that's basically a week off. I'm going to do a lot of jogging, a lot of stretching, a lot of relaxing. So today is just going to be a fun-filled day. Not a lot of training, but I'm going to show you what I get up to. My last day in Saldus. So I hope you enjoy the video. Stay tuned. And as always, make sure you like and subscribe before you continue watching. Let's get it. Cafe to myself, ladies and gents. So let me give you guys a quick tour of Saldus. Probably should have done this earlier. This is right outside of my apartment. As you see, just beautiful nature, lots of leaves. Autumn in Latvia is really quite nice. our stadium ladies and gents most of you have seen this already in the vlogs beautiful grass a little track here this is where we train got nice lights there's also a gym in here closed right now a little tennis court here like I said before I'm gonna go on a quick jog right now very very light just loosen the legs get some warmth and oxygen to the tissue so then I could stretch and mobilize easier I'll see you in a bit Start my day off with the best protein oatmeal on the planet. Let me know if you want to see that recipe and I got you. So let me walk you through this entire stretching session. I first started off with a cobra or an upward dog to really open up the anterior part, the front line of the body. It's an excellent stretch to really, really stretch out your core and your abs. I then moved on to a child's pose, an excellent stretch for the entire back, the lower back, especially the lats. So if you do a lot of pull-ups, if you do a lot of sitting, any type of repetitive movements is an excellent way to really relax. In addition, if you have any lower back issues, you better make sure that you're stretching your lats. The lat runs basically from the hip all the way up towards the armpits. You have to make sure to get in there and really lengthen and stretch those lats out. Here's another excellent upper back mobilization that needs to be done if you do a lot of sitting, a lot of texting, which I'm sure all you do, or sitting at a computer. Your upper back gets really tight and you need to loosen it to make sure you're fast, explosive, and a relaxed athlete. We then moved into a hip flexor stretch, but as you notice, as you should see, the glutes are engaged and activated the entire time and the core is engaged. This isn't a stretch where you're completely disengaged in the core. We want to make sure the spine has proper alignment the entire time. And I've talked about how to do this multiple times on my Instagram, but you can either act like you're on the ball taking a poop, as funny as it may sound, don't let anything come out, please or you can act like someone is punching you in the stomach. Both ways do a great job of contracting your core. I then moved into a seated side bend. So as you see here, one hand's on the ground, the other hand is completely reaching over to really stretch out the side of the body. And then I moved into a pretty complex and tough core stretch. If you can't go all the way back, just put your hand on your calf or your knee but what you're trying to do is really lengthen the oblique, the lat, and the core, as well as the quad on that side. So the arm that I'm reaching here, the left arm, I'm really trying to lengthen that entire front line of the body, which you really, really need to do if you train the core a lot or if you sit a lot. What's up, big homies? How we doing? Last meal in the apartment. Really bittersweet, really, I really love this place. Super, super small town, very cozy, very quiet, great place to get a lot of work done, really focus on me, and that's what I did. I'm really, really, really unbelievably happy with this season. 
I used it to the best of my ability, got myself better mentally, physically, tactically, learned so much as a player, as a person, really focus on my own stuff. I'm gonna be releasing something very big coming soon in the next couple months with Rick Fit. I've been putting hours and hours and hours, tons of phone calls behind the scenes, trying to get this thing going. So I'm super excited about it, really focus on me. As most of you guys and girls know, or most of my close friends know, generally what I love to do all the time when I'm abroad is, or just in general, I love to focus during the week really, really grind, put in the hours, 10, 12 hours per day or more on myself, focusing on my crafts. And then on the weekend, I like to go to a bigger city. This way I can really let myself loose, let my brain rest, let my body rest and enjoy my time. That's generally after my game. Generally, I spend you know a day and a half or two days in that bigger city, come back to the small city and I'm back to my focus grind. It always works perfectly for me. It's something I really recommend. I don't, you know, I love big cities, but I don't like to live in big cities because it's what I get distracted by. Sometimes I could get into, you know, too much of, of the scenes that aren't the greatest for you as an athlete, but they're tempting. So the way you kind of avoid that stuff is you eliminate yourself from those distractions. And that's what I do. But yeah, just got back from the supermarket, got some of the best stuff on the planet. We got red wine, we got good coffee. That's what it's all about, the little things, enjoying the little things in life. I'm really reminiscent nowadays. But yeah, I'm going to cook up my famous salmon for the, those of you people who did not have not seen the recipe yet. I will drop the link below in the description. going to cook this up, really chill, do some stretching, do some work, pack up all my things. And yeah, going to be saying goodbye to this place. I'm going to go out for a jog as well, but that's what it's all about, you know. So yeah, I'm going to take you along this journey. Not the most active day, but you're going to see what I do behind the scenes. So let's go. Here are 12 of the best energy sources for footballers, part uno. Here are 12 of the best energy sources for footballers. So before I hear from the haters over there and over there, I'm specifically talking about carbohydrates. So here is my second stretching session of the day. Really worked on the upper body here, especially focusing on the spine. First thing we did here was a spinal roll up and roll down. Then we moved into some side to side spinal translations. Really good for the entire back, especially the lower back. Really open up that entire side line. As you see here, this is an excellent stretch for the side body as well as the QL, as well as the adductors. This is an excellent one for the neck. You may think it looks funny, but believe it or not, if you have a forward head posture, it really, really can affect the way you run. And I see it a lot in a ton of clients who come to me due to the screen time that we spend nowadays, whether it's the phone, whether it's a computer, we're always hunched over. And as you see here, these are all some upper back strengthening exercises. I would recommend one to two sets here of about 10 to 30 reps, really focusing on the shoulder blades, really retracting them, acting like you have a pencil in between your shoulder blades and you're trying to pinch that pencil with your shoulder blades. I then in, went into a pec stretch here these are some very, very advanced stretchers. They're called Eldoas, E-L-D-O-A. Really, really focused on the spine, like I said, as well as the fascial lines of the body. These are very intense stretches. I learned them from two very, very special people, Eldoa practitioners, who are essentially very advanced physical therapists. They have really helped me play the season that I did. As you guys and girls know, I had a groin surgery, a sports hernia surgery, which is not the easiest to recover from. I had that in January and I came back and I honestly think now is the best I have ever felt as a footballer and as an athlete. So these stretches have really contributed to a lot. If you wanna know more in depth about these stretches, feel free to message me, feel free to comment. They're excellent for the lower back, excellent for the hips, honestly excellent for the entire body. There, it's a combination of myofascial stretching and Eldoas, which like I said, 
is really, really good for the spine, especially the spinal discs and getting the proper fluids and nutrients throughout the entire body. These are specific stretches that I prescribe my clients who deal with any sort of upper back pain, any sort of lower back pain, and it's really, really good to open up the entire tissue. It's some of the hardest things that I've ever done. Anytime I meet with the physiotherapist that I work with, I tell her I would rather run five miles at a great pace than do 10 minutes of Eldoa stretching. But it really, really works. A lot of top athletes do it. A lot of NBA players do it. I know a lot of golfers do it. I haven't heard of any footballers doing it just yet. But I think this is a really excellent new form of stretching that's definitely going to come to the community. It's something that I want to even learn more myself and get more in depth and bring to the football community. So I know it might not be in the most exciting, but I just wanted to give you some insight and help you out if you want to try any of those stretches. This is what the dinner situation is looking like. You guys saw what I cooked before, a little bit of salmon. Felt like throwing some cheese on there, a little bit of hot sauce. This is the best hot sauce in the game. You gotta get this Tabasco mixed with sriracha. Packing up my stuff, listening to some music, just chilling, let's get it. What's good homies, how we doing? It is about that time to clock out. Been a very busy day, but a very productive day. Got all my things packed up. Crazy, crazy, crazy to think that I'm out of here. Really been a crazy, but an excellent couple months. Really came here, did the job, took care of what I needed to. Had a fantastic time. One of the best times I've had over here in Europe. Great people, great food friendly vibes good vibes calm vibes honestly great place for all you who've never visited latvia i highly 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 recommend visiting this place it's beautiful the food's great i never had a bad meal people are super nice friendly welcoming that's what you want from a country you know but yeah like i said it's time to clock out got everything done here i'm actually out of here tomorrow morning so yeah i'll take you guys along my journey i'm headed off to riga tomorrow and i'm gonna leave in about one week from riga got some work to take care of over there and i got some great trips for you to come along with me i'm going to visit my best boy Kroony in sweden he plays in the first league in the Allsvenskan in sweden he's playing against aik so i'll take you along that journey I'm gonna make a trip to Copenhagen, I'm gonna make a trip I think to Oslo, I think to Finland. I might travel Scandinavia a bit, head over to Switzerland, see one of my friends, then head off to Israel, make that the last trip, and then I'm back home. But yeah, I think solid month of traveling, a lot of training. Like I said, I'm taking a deload week this week, I'm gonna get back into training next week, and then uh, yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along. I'll show you the whole off season, where I go, what I do. I think you guys like this stuff. If you do like these vlogs, please let me know below in the comments. I would really appreciate it. it helps me motivate to do more of them. Let me know what you wanna see in the vlogs. Please hit that like button, please hit that subscribe, and make sure you stay safe and healthy. Your boy is out, deuces.